Okay, coming into Keegan Island, this has literally been one of the most beautiful days on the ocean. We are headed out on a true mission right now. We have no idea where we're going. We don't know how we're gonna find waves, but we got a boat, surfboards, and an awesome sense of adventure. We are closing in on the location. I just pulled over, had a little bit of chocolate milk, and I'm gonna get back on the road. driving for like hours on end and it's midday obviously the first time we talked it was around five in the morning it was dark out it's around 12 right now and i think we're closing in on the first spot and this is sick you know we are like nowhere i've ever ever even been near before and this is a totally new location it's like fjords up here almost um I don't really know anything about this point other than it looks good on Google Maps and I'm about 10 minutes. All right, young Groms, we are rolling up but it's pretty gnarly. We got slabs everywhere over here. I don't. I saw one left break. I thought this was a right, but I don't even know if this is the right tide or anything. But yeah, we are definitely out here. Young Grom, first spot we checked, not much in the way of surfing, but it's, ab it's absolutely beautiful here. And uh, we're gonna keep hunting, keep looking, and uh, we'll see you uh, when we start getting some waves. Walking up on the spot right now. It is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't look like there's much waves, but we're gonna give it a look throughout the rest of the week. All right, young Groms, we left a while ago this morning and we still haven't surfed yet, but we're looking for waves and we're just doing some scouting right now. We just rolled up to a beautiful cove over here. There's no waves in it right now, but maybe when the swell comes, we could uh, get a little left-hander going right here. Rolling down, a, rolling down the, the road over here, and off, off out of my car, I saw a little slab. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys. Looks like there's a little slab behind me right over here. Um, I don't know if it's worth getting wet right now. I got to do some studying and uh, the real swell's coming, but definitely gonna come back to this spot. Oh, look at that little wave. Yeah, that might be surfable on the mini Simmons or something, but we're saving our energy for the real thing. So we ended up hitchhiking to a dock because where I parked uh, isn't really that close to the water. And right now I'm just waiting for my dad to pick me up. And this might be the end of the day. Hopefully get some waves tomorrow and Tuesday.
All right, so yeah, we're in Maine and it's freezing cold, but you know, I gotta go in the water. I drove all day, this is what life's all about, get a little shocking. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out for a little dip. up some delicious rice wild rice and chicken soup he's got a tuna sandwich over there too and uh yeah i'm wearing a little cold water water jacket because uh it's cold i got some studying here too yep. um always gotta always gotta get the studying in too and the swell's coming so we're up here we uh we're at anchor and we're ready for it Good morning young grums we are up doing some studying but it's absolutely beautiful out Well, I don't want a thing to do with your kind And I ain't got no time to kill on your dime Strung up, hanging round Looking like you're upside down We're headed out, we're our first spot, we're gonna go check the wave Right now we're actually just driving around looking for a place to surf we just rolled up to the first spot we're gonna check i know i haven't done much surfing yet it's gonna be a lot of checking I've never been to this region before. all right guys i just rolled up to the next spot and the tide is super high i don't know if there's Actually, going to be waves. You can see waves breaking all over here. There's definitely swell in the water, like that little thing, like rushing in right over there. But uh, we're just on the search right now, and you know, the swell's picking up all day, so hopefully, we have a lot of opportunities. All right, guys, I'm freaking out right now. I think I just rolled up on a full slab, on like a full uh, never surfed before slab. I'm sketched out though, because I'm, I'm all alone. I got no cameraman even. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch for a while. Oh my god, there's a giant seal right there too. This is pretty heavy, but uh, I'm gonna sit here, watch it, and if anything, just scope it out. Um, you gotta take everything slowly when you're searching for slabs by yourself. Honestly guys, I'm pretty sketched out. Uh, just the wave's not even that intimidating. It's just kind of like being all the way out here. I'm all the way out here on this fjord by myself. Uh, it's kind of like the being alone factor and also just not really knowing rising swell. Not really knowing much. I'm a little skeeved out to go out. If I were to go out, that's how I would go. I would pedal out on the opposite side of the slab and then work my way over. Because I haven't seen a wave break over there yet. I know it's gonna be bigger because it's about like uh, like 30 yards offshore, so once I get out there, I know it's going to be bigger than it looks sitting here like up, up on the cliff. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and keep thinking, keep thinking how I could work this out. Hey, young Groms, we were down here with Luke and Lauren. <laughs> so we, we got some help from uh, England and France, and uh, we're going to go out and get some waves.
Lauren, did you get that one? Yeah. Good job. Thank you guys so much. How did that feel? Oh, got my heart racing like crazy. <laughs> that was awesome. I hey, looked at that seal out there. No. There big seal, seal stand by me, and I was like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that was crazy. That's the one here? Yeah. Well, you managed to dodge uh, them all. I'm moving out right now, but it's in the back of my head. Oh, okay. oh, that was awesome, though. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. I think that'll be the better shot. This shots. is my work. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Thank you guys. <laughs> We're doing a little uh, roadside file transfer. <laughs> Surfing may have not been amazing, but just the adventure of it. I met this couple, awesome couple from uh, England and France, Luke and Lauren, and they were so gracious. They came down and they uh, filmed me surf. I didn't surf it perfectly at all. Like I shoulder hopped 100% uh, cause I'm all alone. I didn't have my helmet. And like, you know, it's sketchy. You don't know what's out here. I saw the giant seal uh, from the cliff and then him and I met in the water. I tried to like stare him down and show him not to mess with me, but he was cool. And uh, this slab is sick. It was starting to get a little like low tide dry reef on me. So I like, I didn't serve it perfectly, but I'm just thrilled that I came out here and paddled out. I texted Dan Westfield and they gave me some motivation. Uh, there's another little wave coming here right now as I'm talking. Look at this thing. This thing looks so sick. Yeah, I got to come back or maybe even paddle out again tomorrow. Uh, we're definitely going to come back and check it out. This spot is sick. Um, I feel like you just got to do it. You know, you just got to go out there and do it. Like I kept telling myself, take it slow, take it step by step. Like just get in your wetsuit, walk down, the, then just walk down the cliff. Um, and, you know, once once I gave the camera to Luke and it, I at least there's a, here's another cool little right wave. Yeah, that thing, that thing is heavy right there. That's like a boogie board slab. That's on me if I just went on a crazy rant after surfing a three foot wave, like right off the beach without any immediate danger. 10 plus hours yesterday to get here and surf for spots, didn't even surf. And uh, it's just a win to stand up and ride some waves in a spot you've never been before. No idea where I'm going right now because one of the hardest parts about being up here is the roads are really weird and there is no cell reception. So I'm trying to contact my dad, try to figure out where he is, uh, try to even just find my way home from here. I've just been camped out here, uh, laid down, did some resting. Uh, really haven't surfed that much actually, just caught those few waves uh, earlier and I just did a little work on my laptop over here. I got the modern Simmons as a little makeshift table. And I'm in the back of the uh, surf mobile, just resting and uh, getting ready to surf again, hopefully later. What's going on? Uh, right now, we picked up my dad. It's his first time inland driving around since like 500 miles ago and 
We are going out to surf the slab. We surfed it and I was like, oh, this isn't bad at all. Kind of shoulder hopped him, but this time I'm coming back and I want to backdoor it. I want to take off right in the peak. Look at that, that was like kind of surfable. Nice. That's sick, look at this one too. Yeah, look at that. The sun was setting in the west The birds were singing on every tree All nature singing in time for the rest But still there was no rest for me There were no rest for me Rare to go. Bodies or faces like that. You had they call me El Caballo Loco. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but it sounds crazy. That was nuts. Man, you had that great ride. I got it on video. Thank you. Yeah. You had that great that ride. Was, that was unreal. It was definitely better than the morning session. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just still can't believe I'm paddling back out. You get the best tube of the day body surfing. I didn't even know that was terrible. Yeah. Unbelievable. I mean, his body surf, I was like, I've never cool. done it without a handboard. Okay. Normally you have a handboard and you're just like <sighs> This one was just like the perfect amount of being steep. Yeah. Where you're just your arm would create the rail. Yeah. That's really cool. I mean I guess it's yeah. a good body surfer. My dad's a big body surfer. Really? Yeah. I've never there. done it without a handboard. Yeah. yeah. Maybe for a quick one. Yeah. yeah. You were like trying, trying, trying. Yeah, you know, it's like, this is like the first time I haven't surfed in Oh, okay. Yeah, so this is pretty cool. Definitely a uh, good experience. Yeah. Good, awesome. Yeah, that last ride you had was really nice. Yeah, All the way fun. to the beach, really yeah. Really fun. So, yeah, I'll definitely be back out here once. Yeah. Once yeah. more collapses. Good. No, we got out there and like, 
we could stand. I saw you standing. Yeah, I stand. But like yeah. when you spun around to catch the wave, your feet were dragging over like boulders and stuff. Oh yeah. really? Yeah, it was crazy. This is the best. My lady lives 15 minutes down the road. You're up there, and I just I've been, I've been like three Gotta trips here, down. and it's just like yeah. so cool to see that something like yeah. this exists. Just oh, like, yeah, and it's right here. Well, it's just you know, it's 15 yeah. minutes home, and I'll have yeah. some fish. Like, yeah. it's great. Like, like, this is something I've dreamed of my whole life. Coming up north, it's scoring amazing, amazing. I'm sorry, I just said it. Like, oh wait, which way? I think. Uh, it's hey guys, so. We just were stopped off taking a little break on the way back home and it's beautiful right now. We're in the forest uh, all the way up north and I've dreamed of coming up north before and getting good waves. I know there's waves up here. Uh, I've done so much research on the charts, Google Earth. I've spent hours on Google Earth looking at the points up here and all the research paid off. We scored waves and I couldn't believe how awesome it was. Uh, I had to pay my dues this morning being all sketched out and shoulder hopping all by myself. We ended up meeting some great surfers. Today all we were doing was searching for waves. We searched for waves all day. We got up, drove around in circles for hours, but we searched for waves and we found some waves. So right now we're getting home. We gotta get back to the boat and we will see you on the next swell. Ready to ride? Yeah, there's no coverage here, so. Um, <laughs> heavy trip. It's a heavy trip with the uh, the truck, the boat. We got the whole squadron. That was fun. Yeah. What do I eat if I'm chasing slabs? What's that now? What do I eat if I'm chasing slabs? Uh, well, you're gonna hook yourself up with potatoes, peas, and we just went to the potatoes and cheese. Should we pretend? Two miles into the wind with a full load of groceries. In the dark. <laughs> Good morning, young Groms. I just woke up. It's super cold. I was uh, I had a ton of blankets on last night though, so I actually slept pretty fine. My uncle woke me up to a text. He's uh, headed out to go surf in New England. Uh, right now we're gonna wake up, do some homework, and then um, yeah, go surf. I was thinking about just kicking around. Uh, it got pretty cold. Wait, I was gonna kick around. rolled up on um, what seems to be like a really cool little longboard wave, but I think it's, we're supposed to find a spot that's a lot bigger. It's cool though. It's over here. All right, young Groms, we are at the first spot right now. It does not look like much waves, but we're gonna be hunting for some waves today though. Right now I'm back at the spot that I've pretty much been checking the whole time and I haven't seen a good wave here yet. It's this little like left, it's supposed to break into this cove. Been looking at a lot at high tide, looked at it at low tide, and it's just not doing it. Grant setting up the water housing here. There we go. Love it. We're headed out right now to surf this super cool little 
clear water beach break and it's got a really cool backdrop. But the waves aren't that big, so we're just gonna go have fun. All right, young Groms, we're gonna paddle out right now and get some waves in the shore break. The end. It was super fun. We got little waves, got some water angles. Grant, you killed it out there. Yeah, brother. <laughs> he kind of got a sick little ride at the end too. That was awesome. And uh, yeah, we're headed out to the next spot. I think we might be going to the island actually. Right now we are suiting up and we're doing a little SEAL Team 6 operation on the dinghy. We're gonna get in our wetsuits. Uh, Grant, my dad and I are gonna go to the outer island and hopefully get some waves. Dude, what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Is it gonna happen? Oops, <laughs> hey! This is gonna be crazy. Did you bite that ball? You wanna like not sit? No, 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 no. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> we're going we're going like 10 miles in a dinghy and it has a slow leak and the engine quit on me twice but not him it always works for him this is this is a crazy trip right now all right guys we are about halfway out to the island <laughs> we started out a little rough but it's going pretty well now. It's Grant has to pee. It's true. <laughs> and uh, we're, al we're what? almost there. there yeah, chart butter, man. But yeah. it's, I only have 2%, so I try okay. to memorize Can we pull up the map on the map? Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, check it out. But he doesn't have a chart butter, man. Do I don't. Actually, I would have fun with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've had fun with swells and stuff, but not here. When they when they break when they come around a point, you know. That's a set wave for sure, right? Right there. The left looks better. Yeah. Left. The left, yeah. Let's do the left. <laughs> Let's go. Oh yeah. Around that little cove. If yeah. I feel comfortable. I mean, that's yeah, yeah, just yeah. Look at that left. That that left's breaking. All right, we uh, we just ventured out into like the outer island uh, on like this, on a pretty small boat, and we, I think we found a wave. We were like rolling up to it, and we didn't see anything breaking, but then a set came through. We're right off the coast right now. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's jacking up. Really you, see the, you see the rocks right there in the middle of the break? Wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw them, I saw them when we were coming flat. in. It's like, yeah. they're above water. Yeah, that's a wave right there. Oh, you're the tide is too low. Now watch, watch, just watch. Coming in. Watch, Lucas, watch the, watch the bike, just watch. Yeah, wait, wait, just wait till you see it. There's a hole right where it breaks, right in the white, just watch. Wait, Lucas, watch, Lucas, watch. If I knew hate, I'd call it love.
I saw that, but that was really an amazing ride with Grant the photographer taking video underwater. I can't wait to see it. All right, young grounds, we just completed the mission. <laughs> 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 that was wild. We went like five wild. miles off an outer island on this this boat. Uh, it, it, it was crazy. Four is out. Three of us. My dad was the expert captain. Brought us there. Grant got some sick shots. We uh, were a little. We hopped oh on the island, goodness, walked Grant. around. We were a little worried, like you, he was in trouble, but he was fine the whole time, and we were just bugging. <laughs> I was just waiting for you. Guys. And then we we all we all like circled back to the boat, and we were like, everything's good. So we were like, all right, sun setting. Let's get one more wave, and it was awesome. So and Grant is a trooper. Grant's he rode a trooper. In the bow, the bouncy bow on the way there. Yeah, just his spine will never be the same. But he he did it. He did it. So I think that's gonna be the video for today, guys. And we will see you on the next swell. <laughs> yeah, we were we, we were ready to, to call the coast guard. Wait, you know? <laughs> like, oh no! To get no, you. No. Uh, yeah. No, that was crazy. It's fine. I wish you filmed the old guy. On the oh yeah, house. we met some old guy on the island too, who was like yeah, telling yeah, us. Yeah, really cool. Totally. Yeah. But yeah, that we didn't like totally score the best waves, but we're just like happy to be alive at this point. What? Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just a high seas adventure and a lot of fun. It's my last day up here. I'm headed home soon. I've talked a lot about I want to go up north. I want to go to northern Maine, Nova Scotia, New Finland. And uh, I've been doing a lot of talking and I think this helps back it up. We are eventually gonna get to Nova Scotia and we are gonna get to New Finland, so make sure to subscribe because we are headed further north to spots no one wants to surf and our plan is to go there, score them. I can't stress enough how like beautiful and special that is that we scored waves up here. It's so rare for us to get good waves in this region. It's, it's so hard and the continental shelf and a lot of factors are against you, but I left waves for waves. The forecast at home, 10 miles from my house, was really good, and it might have even been the best waves on the East Coast. It was definitely the most crowded. I invited a lot of like the young Grom crew up here to surf, and a lot of them were like, dude, you're crazy, the waves are so good at home, why would I come this far? But what surfing about, what surfing is about for me is coming to these crazy places and scoring awesome waves, and that's what we did. So make sure to subscribe because we are headed even further north to the northern latitudes and we're going to be surfing some crazy points up in New Finland, uh, Nova Scotia, uh, and Iceland is our end goal. So it's been awesome surfing these past few days and I just want to thank my mom, my dad. He literally drove me everywhere, filmed. We brought him out to the outer, outer islands and he filmed like a champion and it was like such a, um, such a crazy adventure. The people we met along the way like Eli, Grant shot with an amazing camera probably like the highest quality the vlog's ever seen so thank you grant graham thompson photography check him out and uh yeah this this was amazing Allie, megan and devony thank you too the vlog would not have been possible without you guys help filming constantly always helping out and for right now we will see you on the next swell so farewell to nova scotia your sea bound coast 
Let your mountains dark and dreary be. For when I am far away on the briny ocean tossed, will you ever heave a sigh and a wish for me? Oh, the sun was setting in the west. The birds were singing on every tree. All nature seemed inclined to rest, but still there was no rest for me. So farewell to Nova Scotia, your sea-bound coast. Let your mind.